thousands of people showed up at the March on Wall Street. CBS Money Watch got a chance to speak to a few of them. So tell me, why are you marching here today? Um, I think along with everybody here, we're, we're tired of this. You know, we've recognized that this banking system has really done an injustice to all of us and we're tired. You know. And what do you think should happen? Well, I think banks should um, get smaller. <laughs> Any, any comments, any reactions? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, Wall Street is what uh, makes this economy, uh, you know, is a big part of the economy. So I think marching against it isn't the answer. I think we have to think about how to work constructively to make things better. You work down here? I do. How long have you been here? Oh, I've been on Wall Street for 10 years or more. Ever seen it as negative? You ever seen the, re the, the country be so negative against the, the institutions? Uh, not in my lifetime, no. Yeah. I'm here with the other 98%, and we're here representing the vast majority of Americans who are finally ready for an economy that works for the middle class. And what do you think is going to happen, you know, when regulatory reform boils down? Do you think you're going to get something you like, or do you think it's the beginning, or how are you, are you feeling upbeat about it? I think everything's the beginning. After the Depression, it took a few years, a few long years, for um, regulations to really come into play. Right. And then we dismantled those regulations when people thought they had better ideas. We saw those better ideas didn't work, and now it's time to get back to sensible regulations. Not market control, not government control of the markets, but sensible, real regulation. Do you know that the, uh, the, the, I just saw a survey that said that Wall Street has given more money to Democrats in, this year than Republicans. What do you think about that? Oh, I think that's probably the best poll you've got. That means that the, you know, the smart money is on the Democrats to keep a majority. Um, beyond that, I think it means it's up to unions and just gra you know, community groups and tenants groups and grassroots individuals to try and hold politicians accountable because Wall Street is definitely trying to hold politicians accountable to them.